Hey, joining us today on the Dusty Wright Show, the new conductor of the New York Pops, Stephen Reinecke. Stephen. Hey, Dusty. How are you? Good to see you again. It's good to see you too. All right, so fellow Ohioan. That's right. You make it to the big, the big leagues. Yeah. I mean, walk me through that experience. Oh, gosh, it's, it's been an amazing year, a couple of years actually, because I knew back in 2008 that I was going to be, uh, I was already named the new conductor of the New York Pops and then had to wait around for a while for that to finally get started. It was a great experience. Um, you know, I spent the last 15 years in Cincinnati working with uh, Eric Kunzel, the famed conductor and founder of the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra, and had 15 years where I was his right-hand man, you know, really learned a lot, learned everything from him, and branched out, decided, you know, I want to be a, a Pops conductor as well, and uh, got some orchestras on the West Coast that had some interest in me. Uh, the Modesto Symphony in California was the first people who ever gave me a uh, titled position and really took a chance on me as a conductor and that right there was all I needed and I knew I was just waiting for somebody to give me that chance right. and it all it all went from there within a year I was named principal pops conductor of the Long Beach Symphony um, got the title position of associate conductor of the Cincinnati Pops Orchestra and then uh, the New York Pops came calling and I guest conducted a spot with them for their annual gala their 25th annual gala in 2008 and I didn't even know it was an audition. I thought it was just a guest conducting job. And I thought, well, why are they having me guest conduct this huge gala? Right. And it was a stack of music. It was about three and a half hours long, this concert. Wow. It was maybe 15 guest artists. And it was one of the most challenging behemoth concerts I ever did. And it, it was only two or three days prior to that that uh, I found out my manager said, you know, they're looking at you for this job. And I said, so this is like an audition. Okay. Uh, came in, gave it everything I, I had, and um, they had been looking for three years. Skitch Henderson, uh, the founder of the New York Pops, passed away in 2005. And uh, James Johnson, who's the CEO of the New York Pops, had the sweetest thing to say after that, Kayla. He said, you know, we've been looking for three years for the right person, and we knew in 30 seconds. Well, Stephen, for me, uh, <laughs> I'm probably uh, one of the folks you were talking about. Like, I don't think people identify the New York Pops as being separate from the Philharmonic. You know, I think there's a, dis you know, just like we know there's a difference between the New York Jets and the Giants. But I often think that, you know, people go to shows, they don't realize there's a second orchestra in town backing up this musician That's on true. any stage. That's true. Um, and this orchestra, the New York Pops, isn't that old. We're 27 years old now, and there's a lot of people in New York and certainly beyond that aren't familiar with the New York Pops. So when I came on board, we started a whole new process of new branding, um, great new logos, great marketing campaign, and we've got a, a wonderful tagline that says, the New York Pops, a different kind of orchestra. Um, and it, it is working slowly to get our name out there. We are not part of the New York Philharmonic or any other entity. We are an entity in and of itself. As a matter of fact, we're the nation's largest independent pops orchestra. Wow. And we have everything here at our fingertips in New York City, uh, resources to be the best as well. So we're working towards that. And I, I cannot say enough about this experience. Moving to New York City, it's changed my life, you know, incredibly. And um, to be able to work with these, this caliber of musicians and this much creativity surrounding me every day is truly a dream come true. It's right. amazing. Uh, pulling resources, musicians, all over, all over the country, all over the world, what's that process like? Are you involved with that? Like, let's say you need a new trumpet player. How do you guys, what's your farm system? Well, we do, uh, we do have tenure in our orchestra, and there's a number of players who are our first call people that have been playing there, some since the very beginning with right. Skitch Henderson. So there are contracts out with them, and I deal with those issues with the personnel managers as well. Um, and that is a big part of being the music director and the artistic leader of this institution is that, you know, uh, I do get to... You know, I told you I'm a sports junkie, and I'm only as good as my weakest player. Right. And it's not like I can bench somebody in a sports team. Everybody's there. So right. I need everybody to be pulling their weight. And, right. you know, it's a great bunch of musicians. But, you know, every once in a while there's somebody that's maybe... And you've got to deal with personnel issues like that. And you, sure. you take auditions and you, uh, you know, replace people as need be. And it's never, never a pleasant situation mm. because we really are like a family there. Uh, and it's tough. It's tough, especially people who have played in the orchestra a long time. Uh, but the best part is most of them realize and respect the orchestra and me enough that 
they know when it's time for them to maybe go. Right. Um, because they want the best for the organization. Well, that's great. I'd love to hear you play a piece of your music. Do you have? Would you be Some old? my music? Yeah. Oh, I could maybe Come on, play can something. you do? Can you do a? You know. I'd play something for you. Would you? Sure. It'd be great because we'd love. It. Actually, I was just sitting around years ago in my house back in Cincinnati, and uh, I can't even remember what I was thinking or why I sat down and. I just sat down and started playing and I ended up writing this song and I haven't played it in years. Just this past week I sort of opened up the vault in my head and I was sitting at my piano on 52nd Street and, um, and it came out. Great. So here it is. Anyway, Stephen, I wanted to thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Dustin. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see your next show. Looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to uh, Carnegie Hall. Awesome. All thank right. you. Dusty Wright, New York Pops. Don't miss them. This man is a real fine. And he's an Ohio guy. That's right. Fellow Ohio. See you soon.